It's time for the Moonshot Money Weekly Roundup, where Chase, Isaac, and Mike recap the investing week. Good Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Moonshot Money Weekly Roundup. Along with Chase and Isaac Vickers, I'm Mike Vickers. We're so glad to have you along with us today, and we hope you've had a great, great week. It's Friday, January the 14th, 2022, and we're back for another weekly episode. This is episode number two. And let me quickly say thank you so much for all your comments last week about liking this weekly roundup podcast type format. We're having a ton of fun doing it, and uh, we are excited to continue on. And uh, strangely enough, this is Moonshot Money's 100th episode. Uh, It's hard to believe we've produced that many episodes, but we have uh, 98 videos with Chase (laughs) and uh, two videos with all three of us. So maybe you'll get a little bit more help this coming year, Chase. Yes. (laughs) Um, A special thanks to all of our subscribers. We appreciate you more than you know. Uh, Guys, uh, if they weren't here watching and listening, there wouldn't be any reason for us to be here either, right? That's right. Well, uh, so today, guys, a whole bunch of innovation stocks are in deep value territory. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chase and Isaac, let me uh, take just a moment to give you both uh, some stats. Here are five innovation companies and how much they are down, how much they're down from their highs in just the last 12 months. Listen to this. Neo is down 56%. Zoom is down 61%. Palantir, 62%. And then listen to this. Peloton, 80% down. And Robinhood, 81% down. Those are just some crazy, crazy discounts. If that was a suit, Mm -hmm. uh, 80% off, it it would feel like you were... They were asking you to take it, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, so having said that, Chase, what are your thoughts about some of these incredible companies that are just marked down so far? Yeah, it's mind blowing, really, to look at uh, the discounts out there. Uh, I'm a fan of many of these companies that you mentioned. Uh, you know, I, I just sometimes will get out my uh, Robinhood app and scroll and, and see the discounts. Uh, I do own some Neo. Uh, I think that's a great buy for the future, down 56%, as you said. And yeah. then, uh, I mean, companies like Palantir and SoFi as well. SoFi is one that I've noticed uh, has been been cut oh, drastically, yeah. waiting on the bank charter and all that. Uh, but Palantir, 62% down. Um, I don't own any Peloton or Robinhood. I mean, Peloton, I mean, I'm sure those are great buys. I know a lot of people are going out to the gym now aren't staying as home as much, yeah. but it's still, it's got to be a tremendous discount. But companies like Palantir and SoFi, uh, when we buy them, we're not trying to turn that over in a year. You know, I think for the future, right. it's an incredible, incredible deal at the at the number they're at right now. No doubt, no doubt. You know, I said last week my growth and in innovation account was kind of on hold uh, as I build up a dividend and income account, but. I'm telling you, it's so hard to ignore some of these discounts. And uh, I I really wasn't going to buy anything in the uh, innovation area this week, but I ended up buying uh, some Zoom Mm. and some PayPal, Teladoc, Mm. and I bought some some more uh, Ginkgo Bioworks. And also, uh, I I, I bought some CRISPR because I just just, uh, am so confident that in the future, you know, within four or five years, it, it's just going to be remarkable uh, some of the things that they're doing in the health care uh, sector. So, Chase, um, uh, I know that you've done something else this week that uh, that you want to tell everybody about. So uh, share with us what, what you've done. Yeah, uh, I like the buys uh, that you've had this week. I, I have, uh, before I, my big purchase of the week, I've also I have added to my NVIDIA holding. Um, I love NVIDIA for the future. That's one that I don't ever intend to sell. Uh, JP Morgan as well. I've been buying some JP Morgan. But my big purchase this week is I bought a new rental property. um, 13, uh, 13, three bedroom trailer. Uh, It's for $13,000. And I I say that number just to give you guys some insight or some numbers. That's a huge uh, chunk of cash this week for me. Um, 
but I can take that thirteen thousand dollars in rent in our area. I could rent that easily for seven hundred and fifty dollars a month, and then by doing that in eighteen months, I'm in the black. Uh, it'd be thirteen thousand yeah. five hundred dollars on that investment in just a year and a half, and then that allows you know more cash flow and another stream of income for you know maybe more stocks or more property or other investments. So that's been my yeah. uh, big purchase of the week uh, this week. Yeah, absolutely. And for those of you that might be listening, uh, uh, Chase bought a mobile home, and we have we own a mobile home park here in our town that uh, uh, these boys here, their father, or their grandfather, and my father, and I, we bought back in 1995. So we bought a 119-space mobile home park. And so we have a little bit of an advantage to be able to, uh, uh, we have the land uh, to put these mobile homes on. Or, or actually, you bought one in our park. So yes. it's going to stay put where it's at. Yes. Uh, so the return on that is phenomenal. But uh, uh, you, you just cannot, uh, you cannot beat the return of a mobile home it's 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 incredible the amount of money that you can get from monthly rent and to be able to get your entire $13,000 back in how many months did you say yeah 18 months i would 18 be months. at $13,500 yeah, yeah that, that's incredible and then that cash will begin to snowball and you can buy another uh, mobile home you can buy more stocks so it's just that snowball effect um, in my dividend and income account uh, i have also bought verizon this week Walgreens, Exxon Mobil, AT&T, AT&T, and Abvi. Um, so here's here's Isaac. He's not said anything yet, and I know he's dying to. I see you brought <laughs> some charts. You've brought some uh, diagrams to share. Uh, you've kept it a secret until now. So let us all know what the mastermind has been buying this week. A snowboard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you say a snowboard? a snowboard? A snowboard. That might also be a trip to the hospital. I love it. I love it. We've been snowboarding a lot lately, having a ton of fun. Great buy. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad you bought you a snowboard. That's awesome. Uh, Chase, I don't think there's any way you can top that, nope. what you bought this week. So, nope. hey, listen, on our way out the door, let me thank you again for being with us. Hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss another episode. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you.